How's it guys? So, a few weeks ago, you seen me unboxing and talking about a whole overview of the Asus Expert Wi-Fi. After watching that video, I realized, you know what? We've looked at it, but we haven't really taken a look at the internal workings. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the internal workings of this router, and we're actually gonna go through some of the configuration and setup. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so now I'm gonna head over to the router IP address 192.168.50.1. And here we have the EBR63 setup. So if we go create a network, it'll ask us obviously to set up the local username and password. Or well, not the local, but the admin username and the password, right? Next. Then it's asking us to set up one of the SSIDs. And then now we come to some of the intricate bits. So this, it's talking about the, the main wireless being set up. Now, do we want to add additional wireless um, networks for special uses like employee access then we could have a guest portal for hotels and coffee shops we could have guest networks which are open access right or one-time access but a guest portal obviously would be different scheduled networks um, like for kids or, or anything like that we could create a separate IOT network for um, IOT or smart home devices whether we're using them in our business or in our home. Let's click maybe later. And I think our configuration has been complete. All right, and there we go. We are brought into the ASUS Expert Wi-Fi dashboard. So you can see primary WAN, um, connectivity and all of those things. And like how we mentioned, we could set up a secondary WAN if ever there is a failover or a, a failover or like the primary internet connection loses connectivity, right? It gives us a breakdown of all of the clients that are connected. And if this was actually connected to the internet, we could have a DNS benchmark and the response time. So it would try and connect to Cloudflare, it would try and connect to Google, and it will tell us the time that um, it takes to respond. It gives us some system status information, CPU and RAM utilization, as well as look at this, it's telling us the active ethernet ports, one gig, one gig, one gig. And obviously if they are they're running at different speeds, it would indicate that here as well as it shows us uh, activity for the USB ports. We can monitor traffic and how much traffic is being moved up and down in our network. And that's a cool thing because again, this is now almost business Wi-Fi. So it gives us so many extra steps that we wouldn't really necessarily have on a home router. So after the dashboard, if we come to AI mesh, so under AI Mesh, we can now integrate other uh, expert Wi-Fi devices to extend this network that we have set up. So we could add additional expert Wi-Fi devices as well as we can optimize them for their best performance within the system, right? Um, there is a roaming block list and we could set up uh, ethernet backhauls so that means ethernet cables between the routers so there's a faster connectivity rather than it just being over wi-fi 
Um, I can see, apart from the client list and all of these things, um, there is some management, oh, that's just the light. I thought here you could manage firmware and all of, oh, well, you can. You can schedule firmware upgrades and auto upgrade and all of these things for your routers via this. And you can obviously um, configure each router when you come to the set, oh, well, this is more at the settings here at the bottom. Um, when we come to self-defined network now, so self-defined network, this allows us to add all of these additional um, wireless networks to the router and or to our AI um, mesh network for all these other different things. And like how we mentioned, this can have up to five SSIDs as well as VLANing. Um, so there's that. All right. And when we create these Wi-Fi uh, networks or these separated networks, we can schedule the, the Wi-Fi. Um, we can also limit the bandwidth. So like if you have guest access and you have a 200 meg internet link, you don't want to necessarily give your guest the full 200 meg, right? Um, and then access the internet. So if you have a local network and you want to separate this guest Wi-Fi from your business network or your company network, you can separate that as well. Then when it comes to VPN servers, this is now uh, in terms of network security and the VPN. So if you want to turn on P2P tunnel, tunneling, um, open VPN, IPsec VPN, WireGuard VPN, you can enable these VPNs and configure all of these things in here. VPN Fusion, if you want to utilize VPN Fusion, you would have to log in and, and then when it comes to AI protection, um, this is scanning the network for things like malicious sites being blocked or if we want to block malicious sites on our networks, uh, two-way uh, intrusion protection, so blocking DDoS attacks, infected devices um, prevention, and it gives us a breakdown of, it's almost like a security overview in terms of uh, how much of stuff it's detected and all of these things. And then traffic monitor, obviously this is a monitoring application to see all of the traffic and all of those things for our router. So this router has so much of power built in. And then obviously when we come to settings, like what we saw earlier, configuring the operational modes of the routers, system settings for the router, uh, username, password, uh, USB configuration, all of these sort of things, right? Um, and even on the left hand side, you can see there's LAN configuration settings, there's WAN configuration settings. Um, so if we want to set up a secondary internet connection uh, for failover and all of those things, we could enable adaptive QoS, quality of service, so we can prioritize some devices over others our firewall and even looking at network tools. So there's so much of stuff built into this expert Wi-Fi and I've, I've, I've tried my best to sort of cover just the top level so that we can see how some of these things are set up and see how easy it is to utilize this router. As much as this router is a business level router, in a more advanced home that has um, guests and you want to set up a guest network, you want to set up an internet network, uh, an IoT network for all your smart home devices, that sort of thing. This router can take your home network to the next level and especially for small businesses, this is the key to unlocking that next level because it puts customer faith into you but i think i'm talking a little bit too much guys thank you very much for watching a big shout out to asus for sending out this device for us to review for us to give us uh, to give you a quick overview of as well as to look at the deep dive settings and how and see how easy it is to configure this router with all of these sort of next level settings on the router but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. And if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future content. 
Guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Rashad, and I will catch you in the next video.